Hello everybody. Sewing shift means determining resistance of yarns in woven textile products against shift with fixed stitch opening method. In this test, we use the universal testing machine, a sewing machine, a 90 number metric sewing needle, 100% polyester thread, scissors, a ruler and appropriate jaws. First of all, test samples are conditioned under standard atmospheric conditions for 24 hours. The conditioned samples are spread on a flat surface and and thus specimen preparation begins. When preparing samples, the fabric specimen is not taken from places too close to the edges. Specimens must be taken from no nearer the salvage than 150 millimeters. In addition, specimens must not be taken from wrinkled places and places where there are folding traces. Taking five pieces of weft and five pieces of warp, two sets of the test sample are prepared. The sample size must be 100 millimeters by 400 millimeters. Test samples whose long edge is plotted in parallel with the warp are named as weft lengthwise. Test samples whose long edge is plotted in parallel with the weft are named as warp lengthwise. On the rectangular sample, 110 millimeters to the long selvage is marked and a line is drawn parallel to the short side. Then, using scissors, the sample is cut properly. After cutting the sample, we fold it at 110 millimeters, and from a span of 20 millimeters, we sew it with 90 number metric sewing needle, five stitches in a centimeter. The sewn test sample is cut with scissors into two equal parts, and thus two separate samples are obtained. One of these samples is without stitches, and the other one is stitched. Then. 12 millimeters from the selvage of the stitched sample is marked and a line is drawn parallel to the stitch. And using scissors, two layers of the fabric are cut at this line and a stitched and a non-stitched sample is obtained. Then, grid lines are drawn parallel to the long side at a distance of 38 millimeters in a way that it is parallel to the jaws of the device. and the prepared test sample is tested with a universal testing device. First, the test device is prepared. To do this, appropriate jaws are placed in the device. Then, the distance between two jaws, namely, the length of the indicator is set to 100 millimeters. Using a ruler, it is checked whether or not the distance between the two jaws is 100 millimeters. Later, the speed of the device is set to 50 millimeters per second. At the next stage, the stitched and non-stitched samples that we have prepared are placed in the device. First, the seamless sample is placed in the device. It must be made sure that the sample placed in the device is parallel to the grid lines. Samples must be placed in a manner that they are not too loose and not too tight. There must be no initial stretching in the fabric. Then the elongation and strength values are reset in the computer. 
Then the OK button at the top is pushed to start the test. The upper jaw begins to move at a fixed speed and the test goes on until breaking point. In the meantime, the force extension curve begins to form on the computer screen. After the break, this value is saved on the computer and the stitched sample is placed in the device. Then, the strength and elongation values on the computer screen are reset to zero and the OK button at the top is pushed to start the test again. A second curve is obtained from the zero point of the same graph. This result is also saved. If the measured distance between the two curves is below 200 newtons, the result is reported as higher than 200 newtons. If the result is lower than 200 newtons, it is interpreted as fabric or sewing failure. Similar procedures are repeated for five pieces of weft and five pieces of warp, and the arithmetic average of results is taken as the test result.